Hi, welcome to Two Minute Writing Tips. I'm Kirsten, and today I'm going to talk about the benefits of researching your article as fully as you can before you start to write it, as opposed to researching and writing section by section. If you are working on a big project that is heavy on the research, it can be tempting to research and write the sections one at a time. Because we're human, we can fall into the trap of thinking that we're only making progress if we're actually writing. Now I'm going to relate this to cooking for a moment. In cooking, there is a concept called mise en place, which is French for everything in place. And what it means is that if you're cooking something with a bunch of different ingredients, you measure and prep all of the ingredients before you start to cook, instead of slicing and dicing as you need things. If you take the time to prep everything before you even turn a burner on, you will be more organized and less flustered and crucially, you will have a better idea of how everything is supposed to fit together. The same goes for research. As enthusiastic as you may be about starting the writing, it is worth your while to do as much of the research as you can up front. You see the same benefits to this as you do with the cooking. Once you start writing, you don't have to stop. You can get into a groove and stay there. You may have to pause to look up a quote or a statistic, but having all of your information already laid out will make it a lot easier and you'll end up with a more coherent article. If you do all of your research in one go, the information you are presenting will be consistent and complete. You won't contradict yourself, your information will be more complete, and you won't have to do significant rewrites. You need to be able to see the big picture first. And most important, your stress levels will be way down because you will be less flustered. Less stress means you're more relaxed, and that means your thought processes, and therefore your writing, can flow more easily. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.